Purpose. The pressure regulator controls the flow of water in gallons per minute to the proper level in the fill time set on the timer. The pressure regulator cannot increase water pressure any greater than the available building pressure, but can decrease by decreasing water flow through the fill line. Water enters the regulator when the fill valve opens. The incoming water puts pressure on the diaphragm, which closes the regulator seat, sealing off the outlet opening and maintaining consistent water pressure throughout the fill. To disassemble and service the pressure regulator, it is best to remove the fill valve coil. The pressure regulator is on the downflow side of the fill valve, therefore turning off the water supply during service is optional. If water flows during service, the fill valve diaphragm and plunger should be inspected. Restricted or uncontrollable water flow is caused from the regulator seat washer failing. To replace the seat washer 686W, using adjustable pliers remove the body cap 686C. Use an adjustable or 3 8 inch box head wrench to remove the seat washer holder and examine the seat washer. To replace the seat washer, remove the quarter inch round head screw 686K and the seat washer. Remove cap gasket and if necessary, replace. Water leaking from the weep hole on the spring chamber 686U is generally always due to a failed diaphragm 686D. To replace a defective diaphragm, loosen the lock nut 686L with an 11 16 inch open end wrench and adjusting screw 686J with adjustable pliers by threading out. With adjustable pliers, loosen the spring chamber 686U. Spring 686Q and spring button 686T are unattached in the chamber. Keep them in the chamber for reuse. Make sure you locate and remove the diaphragm washer 686V, the regulator yoke 686Y, regulator diaphragm 686D, 7 16 inch hex nut 686N and pressure plate 686P can be removed from the assembly. To inspect and replace the regulator diaphragm, use an 11 16 inch open end wrench to loosen and remove the hex nut holding the pressure plate and diaphragm. Discard the old diaphragm. Now that the yoke is removed, this will allow easy access to the regulator seat 686R. If the seat becomes scarred or pitted, the water flow can be disrupted. Use a 13 16 socket to remove and inspect the regulator seat. Remove the regulator seat gasket 686F. Replace regulator seat and gasket if necessary. New seats are stainless steel, which are more durable and will not pit. Reassemble the regulator yoke, regulator washer, pressure plate, and 7 16 inch hex nut. Install the pressure plate bevel side towards the diaphragm so it does not cut the diaphragm. Tighten firmly, do not over tighten. Place the regulator spring button and spring into the spring chamber. Check that the button is aligned correctly on the regulator adjusting screw 686J. Be sure to install a new diaphragm washer around the spring chamber. Insert the yoke, washer, and plate assembly into the regulator body. Center yoke over regulator body as the spring chamber is threaded to the body. Hand tighten spring chamber and secure with an adjustable wrench. Reassemble the regulator seat washer, seat washer holder, and round head screw. Be careful reinstalling the seat washer holder into the seat washer yoke as both parts are brass and can easily cross thread. Position the yoke over the center of the regulator body making sure it is free to move and does not bind on the body. Secure with an adjustable wrench and do not over tighten. Replace the cap gasket and body cap.
tighten with adjustable pliers. Reset the adjustment screw to the original position. If the machine is not filling to the proper level, adjust the pressure regulator to increase or decrease the amount of water entering the machine during the fill cycle. Tightening the adjusting screw increases water flow and loosening decreases water flow. There are a couple of points in the pressure regulator that can fail. One, the regulator seat washer can swell to the point that water will be restricted from passing and the machine will not correctly fill or two, the diaphragm can split or become brittle causing water to enter the spring chamber or the bell and leak through the weep hole. Tighten the lock nut. Replace the fill valve coil and screw. Cycle the machine, check for leaks and confirm proper water level.